Hi guys, welcome back to the Beyblade Lobby. Today, we're going to be reviewing another Zoid. Bing. Wild Liger. And Trike. Now, we got Trike because a lot of people on my Gilraptor video said that they wanted to see Trike. And then on my new Ganatoys Hasbro review video... They also said they wanted to review Trike, mainly because its Wild Blast mode has been changed drastically that we've heard from the other Hasbro Zoids. Mainly being because all the Hasbro Zoids have the same gimmick as the Takeru Tommy one, except Trike, because instead of like a horn, it would be in the middle. It's just like all like almost like flat and like we saw in, the, in like some pictures that it just like went out like the whole thing went out. So that's pretty interesting. That's the one of the main reasons why we got it. Like, and obviously for the culture, Wild Liger, main character, it comes with the character, you know, you kind of have Honestly, to I just want Wild Liger because of the Arashi figure. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's the only reason I'm getting this one, and I really want to see how fast it goes with the new gimmick. So, um, I know I know you guys will probably want to see that one anyways. We couldn't get our hands on Alpha Shadow just yet. I'm not sure if they sold out quick, or it just got um, pushed back. So, that one will be coming in next week. So, stay tuned, because next week, we're going to have Alpha Shadow ready by, I think, around March 8th. The video should be up. Um, if everything goes according to plan. But meanwhile, I know, like Johnny just said, you guys really want to see Trike. So, we will show you the video, and... Wait, let me cut that. So, we will show you the review, so you guys can see which one you like better. Also, guys, um... I saw a person on my Gil Raptor review that they were intrigued to see just Raptor X. Now, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't planning to make a full video on this, so I'm just gonna like put this in the video. But, this is Raptor X. Obviously, his eye doesn't move on all of the Hasbro Zoids, if you watched my other Hasbro reviews. Um, yeah, like the body's black. He has really, they still move his hands, his little hands. Um,. And yeah, basically you just need like a spring, because it's like a spring-powered Zoid. Same thing with uh, these ones. Um, the small Zoids need like a spring, they don't need batteries, because they're so small. Oh, and we also have this guy here, pincers. No, we so haven't built them yet. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys actually want to see a full review on this. Um, but yeah, mainly... The reason we got them is because of, again, Little Pilot. And they're only 10 bucks, and this can actually go on top of the other Zoids. Uh, most of them. Uh, especially the, the the Empire guys. So, show them, um, Johnny. It's really cool. Oops, <laughs> Oops Gorilla just fell. Um, really cool, because this guy can just pop him on Gorilla. Yeah, I like that. And mm -hmm. there it is. See how cool they look, and you can actually put them on, on uh, most of them, like the bull, uh, snipe terra, <laughs> the crocodile from Gab Gabrigator. Uh, yeah, they, they can they can go in, in a lot of them. So if you're interested in, in those, it's not a bad purchase because you can actually take the pilot and replace the horrible, clear coated uh, Takata Tommy one. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. So, anyways, let's get straight to the point. I know you guys really want to see. Trike. Okay, so first of all, um, I know most of you want to see Trike compared to Triceratops because, as you can see here in the picture, the horn comes out. Well, both horns come out, and this little shield-like gimmick. But they completely cut this off, which I'll show you. This is. Takaratomi Triceradogos, uh, right there you can see how it has this little drill and the whole thing comes out like so. Uh, so with the um, Hasbro version, they completely cut it out 
and we are not sure why uh, and also one of the reasons why we really wanted to um, review this one is because so there's three types wait there's four right there's small there's medium sized and Zoids, large, large and, and there's extra large extra large so track would be a large Zoid, Zoid uh, well, whereas Liger would be a medium, a medium size. So, Trike, I think, is the only large Zoid that we have yeah, and that I know there's of. There's like a, like a bit of other one, like a Stegosaurus or something. But yeah, that's the only but one yeah. we have. Yeah, you can see how large this piece is right here. And they, so medium sized, which is most Zoids are medium sized. Uh, they ha they require a triple A battery, and this one requires a double A battery, and extra large require two double A batteries. But the Hasbro version uses a triple A battery, just, just like, like the all the medium sized Zoids. So, um, I mean, let's get to build it. We want to see if it's the same size, and I mean, since it only requires one. Triple A battery or instead of a, if it's a be double smaller. A. We want to see, if, yeah, we want to see if it's smaller, if it's as powerful, or if it's still as fast as the other other ones. We're not sure. We're not sure. So stick around and let's find out. All right, guys, there you have it. It's all laid down. Um, this is like all the bone and they said armor. And yeah, uh, where's the instructions? Yeah, right here. As if you saw the Ganon Toys and the Ganon Toys review, you would also know that they really made the instructions really, really simple. Like they simplified it more than simple the yet toy. detailed. They're very detailed with the pictures. Like, this and is the like colors. all the pieces it comes with. This is how to put the batteries in. You already put the batteries in, by the way. And they have manga pictures, which I really, really like. They put like manga pictures in like every few pages. Like for example, this is another one, Triceratops. And then these are like more pieces. You know, it's really, really organized, and I really, really like that. Like at the top, it shows you what you need. More manga pictures, and it's like it's like really, really nice. And that's one really good thing that Hasbro has over to Keratoma. They're making it really fun to to build, honestly. Look, and they also have like little symbols, so you can organize. You can know which one you're putting on. And yeah. And then, yep. So this build is slightly, well, I wouldn't say slightly, honestly. I would say it's really different than the Takara Tommy one. Um, the armor is a different color. See, this is the armor here. This is the armor there. It's a little different tone of yellow. You can barely tell. And then the these caps here. They're lime green. Originally, they were like a yellowish green. I would say this yeah, is this yellow is like, to that's me. That's like yellow green. That's what it's called. Um, yeah. The color. And then that one is just like lime green. Which okay. looks and nice. also this, um, you attach it to this part here. Which is like you're building the motor. With the Takara Tommy one, it's just, it was one piece. Uh, then again, you know, they changed the gimmick by a lot. So let's just build, build it, it so we can show you guys the differences. And we'll be right back. So guys, we finished building Triceradogos. And off the bat, we could see a difference that this one has a drill. And on the Hasbro one, they just completely removed that for some reason. And they just made it like a ram. And I also noticed that this also extends when it goes out, like the, the, the horns too. And it just keeps going, as you can see. Just keeps going. And then look at the Takara Tommy one. It's slower than my grandma. <laughs> and. As you can see, it doesn't keep going out. Like, it doesn't keep, like, going. And... And then look at the drill. Gonna Is it ever going to come out? There we go. And then that's what happens. It just... And the horns don't move. Well, on this one, the horns actually did move out. While this one... Yeah, this one just stops completely. It just, uh, and then it does one more. Watch. 
There we go. It's just a little like, what would you say? The drill. It's yeah. just that and like the armor around it. Well, so this one is like the whole top part just grams at you. Yep, and then it stops. Why? It starts walking again. And then the Hasbro one, it just has a more, the mobility is just, look at that. Really, it's really, really fast. so amazing. Like, I just wish they, like, they had this sort of uh, motor in the Takara Tomy one. It'd be interesting to see if we could swap it. I doubt it. Highly doubt it. But, yeah. Um, it's just that this gimmick is so cool. The mobility is so natural. And I guess for, I, like I said with the other, uh, with the previous Hasbro ones, if you want it for battle, definitely go with the Hasbro one. And then the little painted pilot. Look at it. There's that guy, Bastion, or Gyoza in the Japanese version. Uh, he's just chilling there. And they also fix a problem with the pilot that uh, with this one, you can see it right here. Um, you, when you press it down, it locks this part into place, but you can't do it while the pilot is on. But in this one, you can do it because Bastion doesn't go, actually like hold it together. It just sits down. Okay, so you just sit it down and you can lock it or move it. Uh, but the cool thing about this is that it just keeps going. Boom. So it's actually fun if you want to play with other Zoids. Uh, this one is just looks cool. And the main difference uh, is in size. Uh, like I said, this is a medi uh, large Zoid. Zoid sorry. But like we said at the start of the video, we were like, wait a second. This one takes a one triple A and this one takes one double A. This one is significantly smaller than the Takara Tommy one. Maybe you side can by see, side. You, can, you can't really see it in the camera, but yes, this one is larger than Trike. Um, also, you can see the shield, this part here. It's a little bit larger than this. And this one is really, really small. Um, so, the verdict, I would think Johnny and I, we like both. We like to have both versions for battling and because because it comes, it comes with, with, little Bastion with Gyoza character. or Bastion. And, I mean, you can swap it. Let's try to swap it right there, Johnny. Uh, let's see if that it works, doesn't actually. really stay into place, but, but you could somehow make just it work. enough. See, it, it, just, it just chills there. And I think that's really cool if you want a true version of Triceradogos. You can get this one and swap the pilot. And this one you can have it just because it you know it's different, it's faster, the mobility wise, whatever you want to say. This one is cheaper. Uh, of course it's you know it's American so it's easier to get. Uh, but like I said, this version, I mean, I mean it's not bad, it's different. Uh, the mouth moves from the top. This one the mouth moves from the bottom. So it has a much better gimmick. Uh, when the mouth moves in this one. Like I said, this one just moves so naturally. It's just so much better uh, in that sense. Uh, but like, again, with the detail, uh, I once again give it to the Takara Tomy one. Um, except for the pilot, obviously. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a good buy, honestly. Um, you know, Hasbro is doing their best. It's the only thing that really bothers me, besides this being so tiny it's the eyes um look at the eyes here it's just stuck on it they're just stuck and it's just like a not that much detail blue on it. it's just uh you know like a really um it's not a sh it's a not, like a sh not shiny blue uh and this one is metallic looks pretty blue. nice so i mean like i said the detail is just um, it's bonus, different. They're more know? they're more focused on detail with this one. This one is more focused on the battling style yeah. and performance. So, um, yeah, there you guys have it. Trike and Triceradogos. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Leave a comment. What do you think about Trike? What would you rather get? A Takira Tommy Triceradogos or Trike? Because 
or even both. You might want to just have both for your collections, you know, yeah. up to you guys. Um, check out our Zoids review. We have three, counting this one. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Subscribe if you like my content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, really like trike. Let us know what you guys think and which ones you want to see next. We're doing White Liger probably in the next couple days. And Alpha Shadow next week. I'm really hyped for that one. I hope you guys are too. Stay tuned and peace out. I'll see you later.